Talking to Craig Strait, he's a representative of the employees at Pleasant's Power Station. They're trying to find a buyer for that uh, power plant, keep it open, and keep it operational. Craig, can you give us an idea of what the impact would be there to the community in Pleasant's County if this plant shuts down? Honestly, Dave, it's too simplistic to find Pleasant's Power Station just by Johnson tax revenue. Uh, this plant means a lot to our area. To myself, this, this plant has fed my family for three generations now. Uh, my dad and my grandfather built this facility. Um, I've worked here for 23 years, and I still flow steam through the same pipes my dad welded 44 years ago. Uh, there, there are individuals that work at this plant today, Dave, that, that lost loved ones, who lost dads, who lost grandfathers when this plant was being built tragically uh, during construction accidents. Um, so, so we're not just taxes, we're not jobs, uh, we're certainly not concrete and steel. Uh, you know, this plant means something to our community. It's something that's woven into the fabric of our community, and, and it's, it's bigger than, than just a power station. Now I want to talk to you about something that uh, is dear to my heart. That's the Pleasant's Power Plant. Some way, somehow, this plant has got to remain open. And it's got to remain open as a coal-fired power plant. Pleasant County, like many locations throughout our great state, has seen its share of economic drive caused by plant closures. The county has seen three major industrial facilities shuttered over the years and cannot afford to lose another. The loss of Pleasant Power would leave a mark on its host community. The job losses created by such a closure stands to rip the social fabric that binds our community together. It, it represents on an employment level 154 full-time jobs, not just full-time jobs, but family sustaining jobs in the community that I represent, but also in the five county area of the Mid Ohio Valley. And also in addition to that, it represents hundreds of seasonal jobs, folks who contract with that facility and do work there and keep the facility running. And you know, this legislature has a long history, regardless of party, for supporting our energy independence and supporting energy jobs and specifically supporting our coal industry. And I would hope that today you will join me in continuing that tradition and just remember that West Virginia coal equals West Virginia jobs. And I'll promise you just this, the Senate, the House, and myself are going to do any and everything we possibly can to make this become a reality to where this plant works for many, many, many years to come.